Hello everybody and welcome to the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are an off-grid homestead out in the Sonoran Desert teaching natural building. This week we are continuing on our Hyper Adobe Tiny Home Roof Build. We are getting so close to getting this done, pushing through the challenges, getting this roof up and together finally. This has been such a struggle of a project, but you know, what isn't in life that's worth doing? So. Without any further ado, let's get into this build. Raising up a new world Where everyone is sacred Every life accounted for Grow your garden, find your tribe Let your hearts burn inside Move your body towards the light Good morning, everybody. It is, I believe, day seven working on this roof. Uh, I'm excited for today because we're at a point where I kind of know what I'm doing. So now today's project is largely just tacking them up, getting our hurricane ties in. I get confused between ties and straps. These are straps. The little metal brackets are ties. I keep moving on our gabions, keep moving on our plaster getting some work done. We got a dead jigsaw. Was uh, had a good run. I think I got this in 2009-ish. But the annoying part is our last beam. We got to cut. It's our last cut. Last one. Just gotta go that far. And it broke. How goes rock moving? Yeah. <laughs> Just the struggle of... <laughs> All right, everybody, it is day seven of this roof build, and it's kind of, yesterday was a little rough. I didn't film a whole lot just because it's kind of figuring some stuff out and kind of screwed up. Uh, you may be able to see right here how our rafters kind of dropped down a little bit, and I just, I wasn't thinking. We gotta, I gotta get up there today and cut those uh, hurricane ties off and then re-level. Uh, you may be able to see right up here, our beam was not actually straight and level and perfect. This is the first time I've done this build, uh, this kind of build uh, with a roof this big. So, you know, this is why we're doing the test house um, so that I can learn on things. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the end of the week, uh, we are putting sheeting on. Um, that is the big goal. I want to get this roof done before the end of the year. You can see yesterday, I think I was just tired. We had to really shim this up, so I'm going to be putting some plates to attach all these three together all the way down. This one I just put totally in the wrong spot. This one over here, because we're going to cut these flush. 
put the wrong plate on, so I had to come back and put an additional plate here. So I gotta cut that one off. It's just, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking yesterday, but kind of really screwed this up. Okay, so this is not ideal at all. Um, but what I'm gonna do is cut some shims to come in here. And then basically we have these guys. I'm basically just gonna triple up on these rafter hangers. I think that should be good. Anyone that's weird, we're just gonna hang the crap out of it. <laughs> Finally moving on to the next step, which is gonna be getting all our plum cuts cut. So we're still a little wonky in a few spots, but I don't think it's gonna be that big a deal. I uh, got some two by eight fascia boards, so hopefully that'll kinda even things out or at least cover up my screw ups. And I got some very long nails and then we may still put some shims on some of these boards. And really it's only this end, this very front end that's kind of messed up. The rest looks great. So yeah, um, it's just the overhang on the front that's kind of wonky, which unfortunately that's the most visible part. But I had these really big overhangs in mind. And then the more I researched it and the more I thought about it, I figured that would be a pretty bad idea actually, because we do get pretty strong winds out here. So cutting these back to just over two feet for the overhangs and Honestly, this thing's so hurricane strapped down that I'm not super worried about it, but I just want to be safe on it. I don't want my roof to fly off because I've seen the winds out here. Wrapping up day seven on this build. These rafters are definitely got a kick in my ass. So <laughs> um, luckily we got them all secure, which is good. Uh, there's still some little like half inch variations in the flatness of it. So I think my plan tomorrow is to cut some shims just to shim those up. Our roofing nails are two inches, so it's overkill um really but i think even if we have just like some half inch shims on i think it's like six or seven of these boards out of 24 that it's not going to be the end of the world so day seven in the books Good morning, everybody. We're on day eight of this roof build. It's taking a lot longer than I thought, but I am determined to get roof sheeting up today. Uh, this morning we were working on getting those boards shimmed up again, um, just finishing that out. So that's gonna be nice and easy to put the sheeting on, getting everything squared up and ready for sheeting. So moving right along, we got the mixer going, getting some cob up there. Just pushing, just pushing. Two more days to push on this and then a little break for the holidays. So getting as much done as we can. All right, we're moving right along on our back end here, getting those plum cut. Got all the front plum cut. And I think I don't wanna be too optimistic, but today is for real, the roof sheeting's going on. I realized I just messed up again. Need to get our hurricane strapping in these white lines because they're doing cob over here and yeah definitely need to get that in before we did cob so i am going to get these in tightened down locked in and then i can get back to the roof head up head up Ow. don't bite me <laughs>
videos. All right, we we're wrapping up day eight and it was another good productive day. You can see we got all of our plum cuts done, which is exciting. Um, so we're ready for fascia board on the, all the sides really. We also got the rest of our boards shimmed up uh, where it ended up screwing up. So now our front and back are nice and flat, which is wonderful. Right, everybody is day nine on this uh, roof build we're off to a good start I already broke a blade <laughs> so we decided to try and rip down uh, some two by eights uh, to basically split them in half for our facial board because I didn't need two by material for our facial board and I knew that was a bad idea we did it anyways and busted a blade so now we're using two by material so off to a good start <laughs> Wrapping up day number nine on this roof build and got our fascia board in. That helped so much on leveling everything out. It's actually looking really, really nice up there. Really nice and flat. Those pipe clamps are able to kind of push stuff up and down just a little bit to get it all kind of leveled out. So I'm not as concerned about putting our sheeting on. Uh, fortunately, we didn't get to that during this big push week but there was some stuff that came up um, fixing the front doing the cob work doing our blocking um, just a couple extra steps that need to get done before we actually uh, put our sheeting up so I'm being good and patient and yeah we're wrapping this up this is gonna be on pause for a little bit uh, through the new year and then we'll get back to it thank you guys so much for watching this build has come together a long ways over these last couple of weeks. Super excited to be bringing you this content. And if you're enjoying this, please hit that subscribe button because we've got something coming out for you every Sunday. Every Sunday morning, we put out new videos. So we'll be coming to you with a new video next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Go build something cool.